What's your biggest regret from your teenage years? So determined to impress my classmates that I would stretch the truth so I could brag about myself. Now I realize most of them saw through it. If I could only go back. I would slap some duct tape across younger me's mouth. All the responsible people on this thread wanted to be more irresponsible and all the irresponsible people wanted to be more responsible. Hum. I wish that I had taken mom up on her offer to teach me how to cook during those teenage years. It would have been so helpful. Both during college and beyond. It was a missed opportunity because she is a great cook and a natural teacher. As a wise woman once said. I wasted all my thin years thinking I was fat. That I didn't spend more time with my parents before losing them. Mom when I was 19. Dad right before I turned 26. Cowardice. I was so unsure of myself and awkward. I know that all teenagers struggle with this. But as I look back now from my 40s. That kid in high school had so much going for him. He just didn't know it. The more he cared about fitting in. The less he fit in. And the worse people treated him. Girls were like an alien species and the future was terrifying. But it didn't have to be. Being mean to my mom. I wore a fedora to prom. And prior to prom I had asked someone out and took the rejection really badly. Said a lot of stupid shit on social media and acted out when asked about it. Also. Back when it was a thing to add random people on FB. I used to post all sorts of corny. White knight one liners. I didn't stand up for myself enough. I'm still too worried about how people will react if I say no or refuse to do something. This programming stuff is cool maybe I'll learn it one day 10 years later I'm just getting started. Man if I had 10 years of experience under my belt right now I would be set for life. The best moment to start was 10 years ago. The second best is today. Cliche but I lost a lot of friends due to excessive online gaming. I kept refusing to go out with them and socializing in general. Plus when college hit I didn't know how to talk to people and how to make friends. Ongoing process. I wish I had taken more risks. I worried about getting in trouble too much. I missed out on some fun because of that. And tried to play catch up when I was 19. Which lead to me going a bit too hard through my 20s. I'm okay now. Successful and doing well. But there's lots of things I did in my 20s that I might not have done had I got it out of my system in my teens. I'm just lucky things turned out okay for me. 31 now. Not becoming more involved in groups activities and not going out on weekends to parties. Caring about what people think of me too much. I spent the entire time basically being who I thought everyone else wanted me to be. When I was 14 I poured ketchup on our back porch and lay down with my head next to it right as my mom came home from work. She came outside screaming and I laughed. She beat me with her shoe and I was grounded for the weekend. Now that I'm a parent I realize what a real dick f king move it was and the terror she felt. Not keeping up with my friends. It's hard to believe but the last day of high school was the last day I saw most of them. Only in the last few years I've found some of them through Facebook but things are different now. Not applying for every scholarship that was available for college. Still a teen but I wish I focused less on isolating myself early on in high school and being a loner with a me versus them mentality. I've stunted myself socially and dug myself into a hole. Not doing more productive stuff. And drinking too much. It was fun. But sometimes it was very unnecessary and could have done lots of stuff with that time. Also more SX. Popping my first pimple. To the point that I can't stop. Blacked out for a second and hurt my bird. Are you British and talking about a girl? Or are you talking about a pet bird? Getting that girl pregnant and becoming a father at 17. Also. The self harm. Constantly bitching about my problems and not listening to others. Honestly? 
being more proactive on my education. I could had gotten a scholarship but I thought getting scholarships were pathetic and was so prideful about it. I didn't know shit back then but I'm kicking myself now with so much money I put in when I look at my 1098 tons. Breaking up with the nicest guy halfway through final year of school. I regret breaking up with him in general but also it ruined what should have been an epic time of our life. Since we had all our friends in common it just sucked. Lots of awkward behavior at parties. Drunk and yelling. Crying. And that's just what he was doing never mind me. Being shy and awkward around girls. I hope you've gotten over that. PMME you are knickers. Being the secret side piece for the popular guy in high school. I was an outcast and didn't have a lot of friends. He was the star football player and everyone wanted to be him. He was in my algebra class. He asked for my number on a note. I was super naive. He only ever wanted sx. We would either meet up somewhere at night or he'd come to my house when my mother wasn't home. We would quickly do it and then he'd quickly leave. And then he would pretend he didn't know me at school. Worst decision ever. My sister had cancer and it really affected my relationship with my girlfriend. Sometimes I would just shut down. I really wish I'd handled myself better because she and I were really in love. And I think it was the main contributing factor to us eventually breaking up. Not spending enough time with my mum. She passed away when I was 16 and I wish I had done more with her. I fell into a massive depression and spent most of my time dwelling on not wanting to be alive. Didn't enjoy those years at all. Not working out. 29 years old and regret not lifting sooner. Seeing school as a joke. Skipping class. Smoking weed. Making fun of the nerds. Not going for the girls I liked. Looking back I can't believe how many girls I thought were out of my league I ended up having success with once I found my nerve. I'm not a super handsome dude either. Not choosing the right 4 year high school, meaning you could only apply when you were about to start your freshman year, to apply in. Chewing tobacco. 30 years later and dealing with the fallout. I went to fast to adult. Not trying to get the best grades in school that I was capable of. It was the 60s and 70s. I literally can't remember turning in any homework. I brought sci-fi books to school and read them during class. With the textbook held in front. I half listened to the teacher while doing this. Got B grades in most of my classes. If I'd actually applied myself. Not being more selective about the friends I made. I thought I was a real loser, which I was. But largely because I had that idea in my head to begin with. And I felt I really couldn't be too picky. As a result, I was sort picking from a social slush pile of people who would use me. Were generally emotionally unstable. Or were too wounded to really be a good friend. It turns out. Making social connections is work. You can't just be interesting. You have to show people you are. And they want you to show you are interested in them as well. And flaunting how kind and giving you are. Is a bit pathetic because being kind and generous is a minimum requirement for a friend. I thought I was being shunned. But mostly people were just busy with their own lives and friends and barely knew I existed. Drinking. I became an alcoholic at an early age. Relished in the thought of it's so cool to be a 17 year old alcoholic. Lost so many jobs. Jail firings. Friends and burned bridges with family. Coming up on 3 years clean now. But damn. If I could go back in time. That is the one thing I would change. Being a teenager. That I worried myself sick over what people thought of me. I was in a constant state of anxiety over it. In reality. I was a pretty and fairly popular girl. But, thanks to my hypercritical mother, I never would have believed that I was anything but hideous. I cared too much about what other people thought of me. I didn't learn until much later that it's none of my business. I'm reading this as a teen and going fck. Not teen but I was 9 in a new country. 
I got lost coming out of a shopping mall and ended up by a busy highway intersection. There was a pedestrian tunnel under the road and as I approached it I heard a girl screaming and a guy yelling shut up. Shut up. And looking back she was definitely getting raped. I was already scared because I was lost and I looked to the road and cars were zooming by. I knew I should help but there was no one around and it took me an hour and a half to walk home. As I'd spent my money for the bus. Poor girl. I can still hear it all vividly. And I would like to go back and be able to do something. Even if I just screamed into the tunnel he probably would have split. You were only a little kid. Don't beat yourself up because some evil monster did a terrible thing and you couldn't stop him as a 9 year old. Not walking away from some shtty friend sooner than I did. Losing my virginity when I did. I wasn't prepared and it ended up fking with the rest of my teenage years and still fcks with me. I'm all for it if you're ready. Do it right and it can be a good experience. I lost everything over this guy and it's the biggest regret of my life. Let alone my teenage years. Also not reaching out and being more involved. Being in a long term relationship. I wish I was single and partied and fked around. Instead. I wasted my time with my ex and never dated other guys when I was younger. Quitting golf. It was my one natural talent that I could have made a living off of. When I was 12. After playing for, maybe? Comma 2 years or so. I already had a single digit handicap and was beating guys that had played for 10 plus years. My teachers had pegged me to be PGA material. I found this out when I ran into one of them a few years after I stopped taking it seriously. He sounded very let down to hear I had stopped. Now when I play I still sort of have it. But I'm nowhere near as good as I was back then. I hit maybe 4 stroke 10 of my shots like I used to. With a lot of swearing in between at the range lol. You live and learn Nario through a copyright a ring. If you're actually really great at something. Stick with it. Otherwise you'll end up looking back wondering what could have been. On a positive note. Makes for a good time at top golf when I go with people who don't know I used to play. Assuming that just because I was horny that I was emotionally ready for sx. Probably my attitude. I should have fostered better relationships and not had a massive chip on my shoulder. Hanging out with the wrong people. And making my mom's life even more difficult. I regret that one the most. Starting drinking. Hurting my ex gf and not sacrificing my own happiness for the time being to get her as little sadness as possible. I was am better equipped to handling it than she was is. Edit. Sorry for the confusion. Misspelled the first line. Oh man. I have so many. Allowing my abusive stepmother to isolate me from the other side of my family. Acting like a psycho nice guy to the girl I had a crush on. Staying in an unhealthy relationship for a couple years too long. Hiding on my computer all day instead of being social. Not coming out and transitioning earlier even though I knew I should. My teen years really sucked. And I got so depressed over my parents telling me they were the best years of my life. I'm 30 now and life is 1000x better. So many missed signals from so many girls. I probably could have had more fun in high school. Not asking out that cute redhead on my senior class. I mean. What did I had to lose? I spent far too many years beating myself up to the brink of suicide over being gay. I wish I could have been a teenager today. Things have changed so so much in the last 15 years. Still. I'm glad for those today. That I started smoking. Sleeping too much. I should have been more active and just done anything but sit around. I had the strength and could have done more. Now I miss that vitality. Not being more social. Not being that age again. I was the best pitcher out there. I fastball smoked. You should really educate your fastballs on the dangers of smoking. Not seeking help after SZL assault at 16. Only now talking about it in therapy. I'm 52. Going to public school. 
I would be better off if I was homeschooled. No. Most of the kids I know from my homeschool group ended up having very few options in life. Many have spent their 20s as a case study of everything their parents were trying to avoid. Shielding children from the world isn't always the best answer. I was homeschooled until high school. Didn't have a single friend until I was around 8 years old. Then had 2 or 3 friends tops the rest of the time. Now that I'm in school. I don't know how to socialize. I have extreme anxiety and more particularly social anxiety. I push people away because I seem rude since I'm so shy. You do not want to be homeschooled. I think playing football. I absolutely loved it. But head took a pounding I'll never understand the effects of. And right now 20 years later my knee hurts terribly. Not driving. I decided not to get my license until I was 18 because I wanted to annoy my parents. Looking back. I could have done a lot if I just drove on my own. But the satisfaction that comes from knowing that my parents suffered is also good. Open bracket. Semicolon. Studied. Worked hard. Kept my nose clean. And made the sensible decision almost every time. Giant F king mistake. I should have gotten drunk. Stoned. Shot up. And made every irresponsible decision presented to me. It's not too late. Plus now you can probably afford hookers. Dueling. 